is verse 28 of the seventh chapter, the Gospel of Matthew. <clears throat> We're reaching the end of the Sermon on the Mount. This is Matthew's comment on the reaction of the crowds as they hear this remarkable dissertation from Jesus. Uh, and so Matthew tells us, uh, Kai, the connective, again, this is from Genomai, I become, third person singular, aorist, middle in form, active in meaning, actually, uh, indicative. So it came to be, usually translated, it came to pass in the King James, and uh, that's the idea. So the uh, notion is uh, at, at the end of the uh, things that have been described here, it came to pass, hoti, conjunction means when, Etelesen, this is from teleo, as in teleology and related words, uh, reaching the purpose or the end, in this sense probably just the, the simple idea of the end of it. This is the uh, third person singular aorist active indicative. So it came to pass when he ended, subject of the verb ho Jesus, so when Jesus ended, and then tus, the direct object in the accusative plural, tus logus, the words, and then the demonstrative pronoun tutus, so when Jesus had ended, uh, these words reached the conclusion of the matter. Exaplesanto, this is from ekplaso. The root of it, pleso, is actually a, a word from which we derive uh, the word plate. It means flat. <coughs> the uh, notion ekplaso here would be the notion of being flattened, uh, flattened down as a result of the impact of what had happened idiomatically, we might say something like they were bowled over. Uh, it's actually a stronger word than thaumadzo, to marvel at something. This is actually to be stunned or astonished, left speechless, about the strongest word, especially with the uh, uh, preposition there. Uh, so the subject of this verb, which by the way is in the uh, passive, this is the uh, third person plural, imperfect passive indicative. So they were in a state of, an ongoing state of being uh, bowled over is the idea, the middle voice here. Uh, and uh, the subject is hoi okloi, the crowds. So the crowds were bowled over. Uh, epi, preposition, takes the dative here at the or on the basis of te didache, uh, the idea of the teachings, uh, on the basis of the teachings out to, the genitive singular masculine pronoun of him. Uh, the crowds were left speechless. And of course, Matthew's going to give us some indication uh, that the reason for that was not only the uh, remarkable content of this sermon, which really was, by the standards of the day, uh, extraordinarily remarkable, uh, but uh, also because the, uh, the confidence, the authority by which these ideas were expressed was equally a source of amazement to the people. So it uh, obviously had the effect we might expect as Jesus makes this great pronouncement uh, concerning the fundamental ethics of the kingdom that he's establishing.